So there's an emergency meeting with business executive, which was held on Tuesday by South African President Cyril Ramaphosa and his cabinet as the country's business confidence index hits a three-year low. Africa's most advanced economy faces investment outflows, crunching power costs, rising interest rates, inflation, and likely sanctions from the United States over South Africa's closeness to Russia. Let's get down to Johannesburg now for more on this. As we bring on Chris Hart, he's the executive chairman at Impact Africa Investment. It's great having you on the program again tonight. Thanks for making it through, uh, Chris. How much do we know about the meeting that was held between President Raposa and the ministers, as well as the CEOs of big companies uh, on Tuesday? Well, I, th I think the actual details um, still need to come out, but I think to, to a large extent, it was uh, the captains of industry and, and uh, a lot of the important polit political leaders that were there um, that were discussing it. And th there's a number of, of serious issues. I think, that, you know, clearly with the election looming next year, I think the ruling party is starting to really worry. Um, the, you know, the, the opinion polls are not looking good for them. And um, the unemployment rate is exceptionally high. Uh, inflation has been rising, and of course, service delivery, especially around issues like load shedding and potholes in in roads and, and um, quality of healthcare, service delivery in general has really been um, a problem. And that is is um, the the uh, government is effectively coming under increasing criticism and scepticism because of promises made previously. And I think um, clearly there needs to be a business solution to get the economy going again. And these are the issues that would have been discussed at the presidential summit. 1.1% revised negative finishing to, at the end of last year, 0.4% in the first three months of this year. So would you say that things are looking up right now for South Africa? Is it safe to say so? No, I think I, I think sentiment has turned down in recent months. Uh, a number of issues have come come through the South African going onto the grey listing. In addition, with the sanctions, rising debt levels, the fact that the economy is not growing and the actual government expenditure is growing faster than the economy and has been for the past decade. Right, the, the GDP per capita has been coming down. Effectively, it's the the, the hallmarks of a depression. And this is an unusual thing. South Africa stands alone with these conditions. And these are things that, that I think um, is, is really um, coming home, uh, you know, to a reality check, if you like, to the, the leaders, um, the political leaders, and certainly the business leaders are increasingly uh, speaking out about these conditions because it is affecting um, the ability to actually conduct business. Usually business is quite, um, you know, moot. They'll, they'll, they'll cope with whatever conditions are presented to them, but um, the, the, the conditions have actually been very difficult. And then the rising interest rates have been quite a shock, right, to, uh, to the economy because they've been uh, raised quite aggressively and quite quickly. Uh, and, and so we're sitting at a level where, where debt levels have risen um, and um, the, the, the economy is not growing right to, to, to begin with. And the, the confluence of these factors suggests that South Africa's economy is still languishing, that we st the population gro growth is still higher than the economic growth, which has been the case, and there doesn't seem to be an out mm. to this yet. But, but, but um, but, but Chris, maybe I come in very quickly here. Do, do you think the concerns around whether South Africa will be sanctioned if it allows President Putin to step on the soil of South Africa for the BRICS summit later this year, do you think that is something that uh, chief executives, investors, and those who are in the investment market uh, like yourself are looking at very seriously? It, it is very serious because the sanctions... Um, <clears throat> even if they're just partial, in other words, led by the U.S., but not necessarily universally followed uh, by, by our partners, is the, the, uh, our main partners are, are, are Europe and, and the U.S., uh, to uh, a rising extent, China, certainly not enough 
to to compensate for the loss of um, uh, or reduction in in potential European uh, business flows and and US business flows. Um, the ago um, don't want to say agreement, but certainly the ago um, conditions that um, South Africa enjoys uh, from the US do, do do seem to be uh, you know at risk. And that, that places a number of exports um, from South Africa into the U.S. market at risk. Um, and and, and that, that has a serious ramification for the economy, which is not performing well. South Africa is a small, very open economy um, and can scarcely um, afford to, 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 to be battling, yeah. uh, you know, under conditions of sanctions. It's battling just without sanctions. Uh, sanctions will exacerbate the the, the conditions uh, further and and keep South what? Africa in recession yes. for a long period of time. Yes, uh, Chris. What we got in was the supermarket in South Africa have, over the last six months had spent about three billion rand on diesel. Now the government is reviewing petrol and fuel prices. Is that some good news? At least there's some good news because the petrol and diesel prices came down uh, um, yesterday, but the the, the, the concern is they could have come down more if the rand was stronger. And the, 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 the weakness of the rand uh, prevented uh, bigger decreases in the fuel price, which even though they've decreased, they are still very high on a historical basis. And it's part of the higher fuel prices, high inflation uh, and higher interest rate costs, which is really squeezing um, consumers considerably at this stage. So yes, we're getting temporary relief. But of course, if, if energy prices climb uh, and, and the rent continues to weaken, those uh, decreases that we get and the fuel prices are adjusted on a monthly basis uh, will re reverse quickly and um, the prices increase even more, uh, you know, going forward. So South Africa is still very vulnerable. We, we do need to find ways to attract investment into the economy. Um, and that will help to stabilize the rent. But, um, you know, certainly policy direction is not, not at all helpful at the moment. Uh, recent adoption of national mm. health, for instance, really is not encouraging at all. So it's really we, we carry on policy down the road of policy to boondoggles, which okay. is not um, helpful. Uh, thank you so much uh, for your contributions on the show, as always. Chris Hart, Executive Chairman at Impact Africa Investment in Johannesburg. Have a great evening. Thank you so much.